Hello and welcome to God's Word for today. My name is Brenda Gross. It's good to be with you. Good to be in the house of the Lord. and Good to be coming to you by the way of radio and TV right here in Keevee, Kentucky. And that's WVTN, World Victory Television Network, and WVCT, where victory comes through 24-7, 365 days a year. Praise God, and it's good to be with you. We're also on the World Wide Web. And if you'd like to tune in, by the way, of the Internet, you can go to www.thegospeleagle.com. Thegospeleagle.com. And you can hear the programs on here live. That's www.thegospeleagle.com. And we are the Gospel Eagles right here in Keeby, Kentucky. Where Jesus is Lord, always. Where Jesus is Lord. Where we honor Jesus. Where we lift his name up. Where we give honor to him. And we want to bring honor to him. In everything we say and do. And we're here for you. Because you know what? God wants to talk to his people. And how many knows that he uses people to do it. He uses preachers and teachers and evangelists and prophets and apostles to work through these days. And it's not a hard thing. It's just listening to him and recognizing his voice. Whether he's speaking to you through a person, through a song, or through a scripture. Or he's speaking to your spirit. You can hear his voice. We can hear God because he's in us. He's near us. And he's not willing that any should perish. But that all should come to repentance. And what Jesus Christ has done on that cross. He has provided salvation for every man. Every woman. He's provided salvation for all mankind. That salvation consists of, it's a package deal. Praise God. It's salvation. It's sins forgiven. Washed away. Not only covered, but washed away completely. It's healing spiritually and physically. Spiritually and physically. Healing. It's prosperity. It's, it's supplied. Every need supplied. And the Bible says that he not only supplies the want, the want, the W-A-N-T, the want of the saints, but in abundance with many thanksgivings. I've heard people say before, well, now God said he'd supply your needs, but now he won't supply your wants. I beg to pardon. To differ. He said, the Bible says, that this administration not only supplied the want of the saints, but in abundance with many thanksgivings. So Jesus died. Jesus gave his life so that we could have life and have it more abundantly. And by his stripes we are healed. I don't know if you believe in healing or not, but it's it's Bible. And it's God's will for everybody to be healed. Everybody to be healed. You say, well, I don't know about that. Well, read your Bible. It's there. The leper came to Jesus. He said, Lord, he said, I know that you can make me clean, if you will. Jesus said, I will. I think the Amplified says, of course I will. Of course I will. And see, Jesus Christ is the same today, yesterday, and forever. And that there is no respecter of persons. So if he did it for one person, he would did it, he would do it for anyone that came to him, that believed on him, that asked him all that came to Jesus for healing. God healed. Everyone. 
that came to him or touched him were made whole. No one ever went away. I cannot read, for no one ever went away not healed. Everyone that came to Jesus. You say, well, what about his own hometown? Well, it didn't say they came to him. The Bible says that he could do no mighty works there because of their unbelief, except to heal a few sick folk. Because of their unbelief, they didn't believe in him. They did not believe. Now, you know, or you may or may not know, that when the children of Israel were in the desert, murmuring and complaining, that fiery serpents came and bit them. There was a there was a bad situation. Serpents were biting them. People were dying. 